What is up, everybody? Welcome to that time of the year. It's my year-end series for 2021, and this is one of the big ones of the countdown, one of the biggest award shows that people wait for, the Music Awards Album of the Year 2021. And we got a big one this year because there was some amazing, amazing albums. Now, usually... This is a pretty short segment on the awards on the awards show, the year end series, because I usually only have five or so albums because I am really strict at narrowing it down. Unlike, say, the video game awards. But this year was so freaking good for music. I had to stretch it. I had to make it to like 10. And that was cutting it down. The other problem I had was, was I was going to separate this into two awards because I truthfully felt that pop and everything else should have their own thing and metal and rock or hard rock should have their own thing. Well, you know what? Then I said to myself, I'm really making it more difficult than it should be because album of the year is album of the year, just like video game of the year. They don't separate category for video game of the year. I mean, they do. Best fighting, best racing, best indie. But they have video game of the year. So I said, you know what? <clears throat> We're going to have album of the year. So here we go. So, album of the year, we're going to go to the countdown from the least rated, which is still the greatest because it's it's album of the year, all of them. Uh, I cut the list down to 10. The least ranked, and then we're going to go to the top ranked, which will be album of the year. So, from 1 to 10. Okay, here we go. Starting from the bottom, <laughs> you're going to make me do <laughs> Started from the bottom, now I'm here. All right. Olivia Rodrigo, Sour. Now, this is an amazing album. The only reason why it's not higher is because the following albums really did it for me on another level. But I have to give credit to Olivia. Um, aside from being stunning to look at, I've been following her very strictly this year and the progression of her and the songwriting and the whole Sour album and everything that took off from Driver's License, but every song on the album, the way she performs them, um, that whole prom thing she did, the acoustic sessions. Listen, really, really good stuff. If you haven't checked out the Sour album, I was watching the... Recently released Apple, I watch all of them, Apple interview with her. And they were comparing it to Jagged Little Pill. And it's funny too because I said the exact same thing as I was listening to this. I said, I, I, I hear like a, I hear a very strong Alanis Morissette influence. And it's funny that he, he pointed, he pointed that out. Um, Moving up, Foo Fighters, Medicine at Midnight. What a freaking album. I, I remember when this album came out, I was taking this album on my hike, my walking stroll along the park. I couldn't get enough of this album. I was so hooked on this album. This album was just on constant rotate. Foo Fighters, Can't Do No Wrong, great band, David Grohl. Um, Taylor Hawkins. Just a fantastic, fantastic album. Fantastic album. Well done. Um, one of my favorite this year. Fuel Anomaly. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I can't say enough about this album. I can't say enough about this band. The lead singer is my cousin. Yep. Um, 
John is my cousin. I've talked about him numerous times on the channel. Um, you know, when you have an iconic singer like Brett, he left the band. He has such a unique, you know, when you replace a singer in a band, that's the most important, crucial thing that you could do to a band, especially when they have a very unique sound. And John brings that sound, I think, and more to the band. I think he gives them life. I think in the fans and people really, really took to him. I read the comments. I stay up on that. I see the concerts, the shows, and they're really liking him. And, and you know, you can see why when you watch him, he's enthusiastic. He's passionate about what he does. Um, we talk all the time on Messenger, on Facebook. He's actually not far from here, but he's now he's on the road a lot and uh, he's with Fuel and he was also with Kevin Smash Band, which was a side project. They did local gigs and whatnot. Great, great album that I think has a lot of influence from the old Fuel, but also brings something new at the same time. Great stuff. Silk Sonic, An Evening With, An Evening With Silk Sonic, uh, Bruno Mars' band. The thing is, is that when, when, when Leave the Door Open first came out, and even like Skate, I said to myself, here's the thing. They left us for so long with the first single. They left us hanging. And for the longest time, we didn't think that this album was going to come out this year. Because it was supposed to come out, then it was going to get delayed, and then it was supposed to come out, then it was going to get delayed. And then all of a sudden it dropped out of nowhere, right at the end of the year. But when I believe that for song of the year has to go to leave the door open, it has to. And actually when I heard that song, I thought, well, that's song of the year. But it's going to be album of the year. Silk Sonic, when Silk Sonic's album comes out, it's going to be album of the year. And I got to tell you, it's a great, fantastic album. It, it, it is. Could it have been album of the year? I think if the competition wasn't so damn good, it could have. And uh, I don't know. Maybe if it came out earlier and I had more time for it to soak in, maybe it would have. But it's a damn good album. It's a fantastic album. Can I see it being a lot of people's album of the year? Oh, without a doubt. And if you're a big Bruno Mars fan, and if you're an old classic fan of the old school style, like Heat Wave and all them guys back in the day, man, this is right up your alley. This is, I mean, this is some good stuff. Highly recommend it. Chevelle, near eight. Um, Chevelle. I was talking about bands on another show of mine, talking tunes with Sean, I think, about bands that can't do no wrong. Even if they try to put bad material out, they can't. They're that good of a group. And there's a few of them, and I talk about them. Chevelle is one of them. And as long as I've been listening to Chevelle, and that was from day one, I went to their early shows, I met them, Bought their albums, every album on release date. Long story short, their albums just keep getting better. And this album is no different. This album is fantastic. This album is such a Chevelle feel. You know, a lot of times bands will go off and try something else. It'll work. This is, is, is something fresh, but it's Chevelle. When you hear it come on, you get that vibe and you know it's going to be good and it's power punching, hard hitting. Vocals are insane. <clears throat> it's got those classic tracks. The first note, you know it's them. It's identifiable. It's Chevelle. John Mayer, Sob Rock. <clears throat> this could have easily been my, my um, album of the year. I see this being a lot of albums of the year. This album is freaking amazing. And I got to tell you, the more and more I listen to this album, the more I'm like, dude, this is the shit right here. I'm a big John Mayer fan. I listen to a lot of John Mayer. I listen to a lot of his guitar work, a lot of his guitar souls. I listen to a lot of his songs on repeat. I watch a lot of his concerts. I dive deep into his tracks. This, this, listen, 
this album, I know a lot of people said, oh, you know, it's a little soft. Listen, if you listen to like the ballad version of like Last Train and and like uh, all, uh, I, I would honestly say every track off this album, the album flows, the album all goes together as one piece. It's just a musical journey. And every single time I listen to it, I hear new things. They got it on vinyl, and I want to pick it up on vinyl. I had it in my hand at Target. I, I got to go get it. It's just, it's, it's, oh, it's a masterpiece. It's, what an album. Bluesy. Get this album. Iron Maiden, Sinjitsu. It was, for a while, my album of the year. This album slays. Okay, this album slays. This album is top tier. Okay, you talk about different tiers of albums. This is top. This is the best it gets. I mean, this band has been around for so long. And and again, groups that can't do no wrong. Iron Maiden, Bruce Dickinson. This he sounds so. Fucking fantastic on this album. This the album's artwork, the album's art direction, the album's whole style and theme, the songs, the solos, the vocals. Dude, dude, this is like, what is going on? What is going on here? This band should not be this good. Good shit. Ed Sheeran equals. Album of the Year material. The only reason this sucker is an album of the year is because of the next two in front of it. Guys, listen. This is album of the year material. You're going to see this on a lot of people's lists. This album. Talk about a group or an artist that can't do no wrong. Can't put a bad fucking song out. Every fucking tune is better than the next. This whole album is amazing. This whole album works live. This whole album works acoustic. This whole album is just mind-boggling. You know, there's artists. There's artists that just get it. And there's artists that just have it. And you say to yourself, you know, this artist has a lot to live up to. You know, when certain artists are coming out with an album and you haven't heard the tracks yet, you say to yourself, this is a lot to live up to. This is a lot to live up to. Sure, they may already have a huge back, they may already have a huge discography. They have a lot of songs in their career. But but what is this going to sound like? And then this comes out and you're like, it's that kind of album where it's like, as soon as you hear it, it's like, I've heard it. It's it's classic. It's it's that it's Ed Sheeran, man. It hits fucking home. It's rocking. It's it's good live. It's good acoustic. It's good piano. It's good vocally. It's good lyrically. Good shit. Number two. For my album of the year and almost album of the year, for many, many months, this stayed album of the year on my chart. For many, many months. And a 100% hint right now, rock metal album of the year, hands down. Between the Buried and Me, Colors 2. Listen to me. Listen to me. There's a reason why it's number two. Could have been number one, was for a long time, and it's number one metal album of the year. I mean, what's what's after that uh, under it, metal wise? Sinjitsu, Iron Maiden, yeah. First of all, it's not every day that Between the Buried and Me come out with an album. Between the Buried and Me is a very sophisticated band. I put them in the same category as like Tool. They'll take forever to release material, but when their material comes out, you know it's going to be top fucking quality. It's going to be, here's top quality, here's them. Okay? It's going to be mind-boggling. This album was ten times more that. So it's like, 
okay, bands like this, albums like this, you could predict and expect perfection. Dude, perfection's not the fucking word for Between the Bird and Me. Then you listen to the singles and the videos that are out there. Um, let me see something. I'll give you an example. Uh, for instance, when I first heard The Future is Behind Us and Fix the Error. Oh my, it's like, can you think of the best things and the best parts of what make Between the Bear and Me so fucking awesome and they're in those two tracks and they're in the entire Colors 2 album. Remember now, Colors was a fucking amazing fucking album. Amazing fucking album. So this is better. And and Colors was legendary. This album will kick you in your ass. And ladies and gentlemen, album of the year, hands down, is Adele 30. It's just, you know what it is? It's just, it's... It's all those things I said, like when I talked about Ed Sheeran and I talked about great artists coming out with other material and what is it going to be like. And we were worried. We were wondering what it was going to be. It's been so long. Absolutely fucking mind-blowing. Absolutely, absolutely mind-blowing. The vocals... Of this album are some of the best vocals on, on on studio recording I've ever heard. The vocal quality, the vocal range. Um, so when Easy on Me, they had if you do you remember they had on Easy on Me they had a demo before the music video was released. It was like a fifteen second clip of her putting the cassette in and. The, and I think they played like two or three piano notes. When I, this is no joke. My wife will tell you, when I heard those two, three notes, I said to myself, this is going to be a hit. I just got the chills. I feel something in those few notes. This is going to be a fucking banger. This is probably going to be one of her best songs. That's a bold statement. Easy on me released like the next day or two. It was fucking phenomenal. But I'm going to tell you what did it. The whole album is insane. To be loved. When I heard that with headphones, I don't think I heard vocals or performance like that in a song. Ever. 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 On a pop side, pop, soft rock, whatever you want to call it, female vocals. And that's when I said to myself, you know what? I already knew this, this artist was spooky talented, legendary. This is what did it. This, this album, but then this track. And I said to myself, you know what? This is the stuff that can't be beat. This is the stuff, and, and, and this is what made me stop thinking about categories. The best metal, the best rock, the best alternative, the best rap, the best R&B, the best hip-hop, the best uh, pop. This is what said, you know what, fuck it. Put everything in one fucking category and just fucking label it. And I, and I said, you know what, this album's got it. it. You either got it or you don't. Adele, 30 Album of the year. All good contestants, all good contenders. I could have been a contender. Thank you, guys. Thank you for another awesome award show. Take care. Happy year-end series. Happy holidays. Happy Honda days. Hope to see you guys on the next year-end series award and Christmas special. Take care, guys. Thanks for joining me. Mm-hmm.
go easy on me. Okay, okay.